Grand Rising. Hope everybody's doing muy magnifico today. All right, as you can see, I just shuffled and split the classic Radiant Tarot deck. Is that how it is? The classic Radiant? I know it's the Radiant Tarot, but is it classic? Nah, it's just Radiant. It's just the Radiant Tarot. See, it's too early for this. Nonetheless, I know this is Moonology, right? Let's read that one again. Moonology. Let's go. Let's see what's going on in the Ether Shores. I hope everybody's on way magnifico. As you can see, I'm a little charged up. I'm extremely charged up, actually. So, hopefully everybody's doing well today. Let's go. Let's see what's good for us. Let's see what Spirit has for us this wonderful day. Can you guys believe it's the holiday season next week? OMG. This is ridiculous. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, full moon eclipse. Did you guys also know that we're not going to have another eclipse for, I think, two, two and a half years? Another full moon eclipse for at least another two and a half years? It's crazy, right? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. See what else we got on the table. I think that might be it for us. Got some. Oh, just kidding. All righty. Bottom of the deck, we have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse okay okay i'm liking this energy and meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces okay very good very good all right okay this is beautiful energy so it seems like we are closing out a cycle and then we are literally beginning something new and we just have to like you know bring it in appropriately so we may have to, have to dissipate past energies or ah, i'm not sure what this is or maybe exactly decide what we would like to bring into our lives i don't know i don't know i don't know but it feels wonderful it feels wonderful page of cups something new all right something friendly something light-hearted okay okay let's see what's going on let's see what's going on in these ethers all right all right we have forward movement balanced energies victorious movement okay i like it i like it i like it okay interesting hmm let's get more on this chair before i start running my mouth let's get more on this chair before i start to run my mouth all right so we're a bit weary on moving forward just okay 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 so we're a bit weary about who we decide to commit to and who we're moving forward with. As you can see, we have the Seven of Wands. We definitely are moving forward and we're definitely looking to move forward successfully, right? We don't want to have somebody who's reckless but careless in there, you know, there for a good short time, a good time, you know, not, not necessarily for a true investment or there for a long time. Uh, so we definitely want to watch who we allow into this place. So we really want to take that time to meditate and contemplate. Ah, ah I see how it was spirit did there. I see what spirit did there. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's keep going from there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we're being very careful about the energy that we allow in our lives. It looks like we're definitely in our emperor or empress energy, depending on the situation at hand, of course. And we are looking to manifest and bring in the new. Again, with this this temperance angel, are we looking for a higher level soulmate? Oh, oh, I didn't see all of this. Okay, so, okay, let's look at that again. So we close out a cycle successfully, right? Meaning we're able to move forward. We're able to expand. We're just literally waiting for our ships to come in. You know, a bit guarded again from the energies that we allow in our lives because of the things that we've been through. All right, so we have to be very particular about the things that we ask to come into our lives. We want things that are going to bring harmony, peace, joy, abundance. You know what I mean? I don't see it up there, but I'm just going to say, like, all of that accumulated would be abundance. All right, very good. Okay. Okay. So we're holding tight. All right. We're standing firm rather courageous sometimes we have to go without in order to get what's desired or outcome all right we are in this for the long haul and we know that at the end of the day what's promised will be delivered you just have to be consistent 
and uh, I want to say steadfast. I don't know where that's coming from, but consistent and faithful remain like remain in your faith. Let's keep going. All right, so all right, I also wanted to say that as well. So it looks like somebody definitely wants to make a return, and also has an offer, an offer to give. All right, maybe this particular player has was in and out of your life at one particular time close out the cycle and maybe this energy has had an opportunity to really think about the error of their ways right the foolishness the stubbornness how they were refusing to um you know move towards emotional fulfillment and remained in a rather exhausting state mental state physically and mentally maybe they were going through some sort of mental head trauma or something like that i only say that because of the bandage on his head it's poking out to me right now for some reason yeah so i guess somebody was really going through something and with the close of the cycle it made them realize you know i may want to reconcile i may want to make this return i'm actually kind of passionate about this you know i actually really care about this, this is actually a gift for me okay very good so Somebody's making a choice, I see, with the lovers over there. To come forth and express their emotions, because clearly they're going through nostalgia. But I'm glad to see that they're they're balancing out the, the negatives, the, the, sh the light and the shadow side of their lives. Alrighty, we see that with the chariot. Nonetheless, all of that to prepare to express themselves and possibly and get, and get ready for this brand new beginning. Alright, let's, let's talk about this fool real quick. Let's see what the fool's about exactly. Okay, let's see what this fool is about. Let's see what comes out with that. The fool. Alright, so yeah, they're being very strategic about this new beginning. Alright. Possibly walking away from some let's get some more on that. Possibly walking away from an investment. Alright, but this was a faded event to happen. Um, them walking away from that investment to go towards something of an emotional fulfillment. All right. This is a faded event. Let's talk about the Wheel of Fortune. Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. You do good things, good things come to you. You do bad things, bad things come to you. Now, also with this wheel, as I said before, it was destiny. This is a faded event, something to happen, a lesson. All right. Um maybe the situation was a situation to learn you know okay hmm. celebrating of closing of a cycle it's looking like okay so the wheel can outspend because they've closed out and walked away from this investment let's keep going with that Keep going. Let's keep going. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we can see who's driving the chariot. All right. He finally put the windows down, guys. Okay. So it looks like somebody's coming in to heal, reconcile, shine a light on them. Maybe they have admiration. Maybe this is a, that same new energy. Nonetheless, they want to come forth and seize an opportunity. All right. They definitely want to seize an opportunity possibly show how much of a boss they actually are let's keep going yeah okay we have some sort of choice all right we have some sort of option to choose from oh no let's talk about that let's talk about that why are there choices and options what is this lovers about okay to heal something was something we were holding on tight to. Okay, wish fulfillment. This would be considered if this does come to fruition. Oh, I didn't notice there was two here. Boom, bam. Yeah, so we would... It looks like they're coming forth and to ask for forgiveness. All right? Maybe they weren't... Maybe they didn't make the best choice before, honestly. It looks like they may have honestly chose something that was easier. Chose their friends over, you know, stepping up and being an emperor. All right, let's keep going. 
So yeah, so again, with the faded event, something that you may not be aware of because clearly you're minding your business, but um, looks like this King of Cups has released whatever this faded event was to be released. Should we get into that? We should. What was released, Spirit? Okay. Taking time to rest and think about things. There's competition. What was released or seen differently with the hanged man? What was that about? Okay, there's going to be an announcement about this. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let's keep going. What was released? What was released or seen differently? Let's see what that is. Well, something that wasn't such a passionate new beginning. It actually seems to be more of a hindrance. And I only say that because it's ace in the, in the reverse, bro. Is there an ace in the reverse? Now, I've seen it falling in the upright, but when I've seen it, I picked it up in the reverse. Okay. All right. So let's get some more on that ace in reverse. Ace of, ace of wands in reverse. Let's see what that's about. So apparently they picked another path to go down. They weren't victorious. So now they would like to turn around and be victorious with you. Fortunately, there's conflict. There's competition. Let's shed a light on that one. Let's talk about this five of wands. What's that about? Ah, oh, the conflict, the conflict. Will we be able to be successful together in this relationship? Will, we, will you be my soulmate? Will you be my partner? Will we be able to do this together? Okay, can I have some insight on this energy? On this energy? What's my insight on this energy? All right, so it looks like, uh, wow. All right, so it looks like, okay. It looks like this energy decided to leave you out in the cold, possibly in a time of need, lack, poverty, uh, completely abandoned you, called judgment on the situation, and went towards a newer energy, a page of cups, something friendly, lighthearted, nothing to take too serious. Nonetheless, they went and put work in over there, whatever happened over there, but over here, we have a high priestess hierophant. Now, they're trying to come back to be a part of this two of cups, but the interesting thing is, you alone are a higher hierophant and high priestess, meaning you embody the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy, both 5d and 3d what's the point of this energy being here honestly um, i mean let's let's get some more let's get some more but I, I don't see there being room for this particular energy i really don't they lost their seat and you took over so why would you like now you need somebody who also embodies the same energy i don't know let's keep going yeah so basically they abandoned an empress for page Right, and you worked, 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 worked your way to the tippy top, and now look at you. Now look at you. This is what I'm talking about. All right, hold up. Let's check this really quick. Boom, and you're successful. Now they're now they want to come and take action and be successful with you. Now they would like to be a part of you. Now they're seeing you. All right, now that they've left you out. And people are fighting for you, attempting to get your attention. Now they see your worth. Now they would like this new beginning. Hmm. 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 Why? Why now? Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a tower. They had to walk away from the situation. And as you can see, straight from the rip, that's 10 swords right here. They're not sure how the situation is going to turn out. But at the end of the day, these are 10 swords. That cycle is closed. That's the land of no return. They got a perspective on things. And now they're ready to come forward with an apology. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know how this is going to play out, guys. This is so interesting. I don't know how this one's going to play out. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Let's see. 
Let's see if Spirit has anything else for us, then we'll wrap it up. And I'm sure maybe we'll get a part two a little bit later on in today. But this one's like a telenovela, man. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Queen of Wands. We have a Queen of Wands. We have a Six of Wands. The Moon. And watching the King of Wands. So it looks like, guys, Queen of Wands. Six of Wands, the Moon. I almost want to say that there's a Queen of Wands secretly watching this Empress, waiting for this King of Wands to, I want to say attack, but you know, to come forth and express his love or whatever that may be. But there's a, there's a decent chance these two can be the same energy and, you know, coming forth. But honestly, you can never be too safe. All right, exactly. We can never be too safe. So let's not be sorry. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. Six of Wands. Let's see who this Queen of Wands is. On the table, please. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, please, on the table. All right. Maybe this Queen of Wands, they have a family. Maybe they have some time invested in the situation. <sighs> I'm not sure, but, but it looks like that may be the Ten of Cups that they're giving up. Something that they've seen as their happily ever after. Let's clarify that. They want to come back. They see you as the Queen of Wands. They're choosing to come in and collaborate with you. They're thinking about you and see you as their unconditional love, happily ever after. They're they're going through nostalgia, all types of all types of uh, feelings and memories, reminiscing, and you know probably happy, ugly, crying. I miss my love so much. You know that type of stuff. But nonetheless, um, King of Cups is really present. I'll say, even though he's showing up right now as a King of Wands at the bottom of the deck because he's taking action, his 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 cup energy is very very prominent, and I actually like that. I actually like that for this energy. Usually, King of Wands is upset, mad, furious, going after war, but he's more in touch with his sensitive his his emotions, his sensitive side. All right, and the fact that he's willing to express his emotions and take action, that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. That's beyond phenomenal. I would like to check into this um, judgment really quick. I know this is getting late. This is getting long. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, judgment. Let's go. Judgment, and then we'll wrap it up. And again, part two will probably pop up later. All right, judgment. Okay, so we have an announcement. There's been a final decision made about a queen of wands. Somebody's been doing some studying, some researching. It looks like they're exhausted. They're freaking tired of possibly working with this energy. Mm. All right. Maybe this is a third party situation that essentially hurt this empress. But we need to balance the scales in this. All right. Things things don't seem to be too fair and too just. All right. So it looks like somebody may be walking away and heading towards their nine of cups. A single energy. A single energy that uh, you know, is rather is uh rather track oh, i'm sorry i keep saying the queen of wands that is emotionally fulfilled within themselves truly satisfied within themselves they don't need to go to tom dick or harry to have a good time they can read a book and enjoy their own company somebody who's truly emotionally fulfilled within themselves oh thank god the sun's coming up all right let's keep going let's keep going is there anything else all right i just had to point this out really quick this was the bottom of the deck this energy is very much guarded. I have a feeling that things aren't reaching this energy. I wanted to say that earlier when I seen the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Where is that? That's right here. The Seven of Wands. I didn't say that because, you know, I wanted it to play out, see how it turned out. But I was feeling like the communication was actually reaching this Queen of Wands. And then there we go with the confirmation. Okay. Very good. Okay. Queen of Wands. Very confident. Courageous. Wow. A match. 
All right. Looks like somebody's definitely figuring out how to come forth for forgiveness. All right. King of Wands looks to want to give to the situation. And he may be manifesting that, putting the blood, sweat, and tears into that now. While the Queen of Wands has surrendered, this connection is looking at a potential another King of Wands. I don't know. Attempting to transition and change things. Looking for commitment. And that's where the energies cross. All right. Oops, excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize about that. So, yeah. So, that's where the energies cross and they uh, end up back in the same path. Nonetheless, this this was a phenomenal read. Um, I'm actually really excited to see what happens to the King of Wands, King of Cups energy. Because he's, he's flexing hard. He's flexing hard. And, you know, I do enjoy an Empress. And I do love the fact that we have an Empress standing strong in her spot. Beautiful, beautiful placement. Very confident. Very courageous. Um, beautiful, abundant energy. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm doubling up on the confidence here. I'm doubling up on the con. I mean, I guess I guess he's doing his thing too. But for the, it's the Empress energy. It's the Empress energy. She's on the table. She's like, look, front and center. I'm here. All right, you hurt me. All right, I was holding on to you while you were holding on to something of the past. Oh, you know what? I'm getting too messy into the details. We don't need to hear all of the neat nonsense. They need to move forward. Forgive, heal, and if you truly want this, you guys will release this so you guys can do better. Because I'm sure that you guys didn't know better, so you could do better. But now we do know better, so you can definitely do better. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up here. This is interesting. I, I actually think we might do a part two a little later on in the day. See, um, you check on the Empress. See what the Empress has been up to, how she's feeling, what's going on with her. And then, uh, yeah, I'm sure this fellow may still pop up and... As we've seen, he did have a choice to make with the lovers over here. And he actually chose to leave behind the Empress for a newer energy, right? So I'm excited I'm excited to see what pops up in part two, because I'm sure we're going to get all the details in part two. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for your time. Thank you guys for being a part of the community. And love and light, guys. Love and light, guys.